Um, hi, I'm Emily Weber. I work at GDS, actually, but I'm not going to talk about GovUK. I do a lot of Agile stuff. I'm not going to talk about Agile either. Um, okay. So uh, in my spare time, I... Uh, go next slide. Um, I'm going to talk about London Shopfronts, which is documentation of London and uh, an ob obs obsession of mine. Um, so, a uh, little bit about me. I grew up in Lewisham, down here. Uh, this is a corner shop that I used to go to when I was at primary school, get penny sweets, two, uh, half penny sweets as well at the time. Um, this is in SE4. Um, I spent a little bit of time in Islington. Um, about five years. This is an uh, infamous shop called Get Stuffed. Some of you might know it. Uh, it's had a few problems in the past about what you can buy in there, what stuffed animals you can buy in there. Um, that's in N1. Uh, I live in Hackney. I've lived there for about 10 years. This is a local bar of mine called Biddle Brothers that also used to be a builder's merchant. That's in E5. Um, I spent a little bit of time working for the Royal Mail. I know my postcodes. That was in CT1. I spent a brief amount of time in Canterbury. Um, okay, so uh, London Shopfronts is a, is a kind of a little bit of a love letter to London and an obsession. Uh, it looks a little bit like this. It is a blog. Um, it's a documentary. It's a photo blog. It's a collection, and it's an obsession. Um, okay, so uh, I love London, obviously. Um, the shop fronts that you can see here are kind of backdrops to the everyday. They're the things that define the city. They define the area that you're in. They point to the city's past. Um, London has a really rich history, and these shop fronts are the products of that history. Um, I find uh, shops like this really interesting. So what you see here is a shop that's born of everyone that's occupied this shop ever since it was built. Um, it was uh, built at some point by an architect, it's, uh, uh, it started as an off-license. The owners probably thought, hey, we can make some money out of selling bulk uh, washing liquid and canned goods, so they started that here. Um, they also thought, hey, why don't we rent out a desk to a minicab firm, and look, you can get uh, to Stansted Airport for 20 quid. Um, and in the window just over there, you can see a nail bar and hairdressers. So basically, it's your one-stop shop for everything you could possibly need. So I have over 2,000 photos. Frightening, that's some of them there. Um, 22 London boroughs in around 50 postcodes. Um, I've read a bit about collecting, and I won't go into the psychological problems that it uh, points to. <laughs> um, but uh, one of the things I like to do as well is categorize them. So I'm going to show you a few of these Chinese takeaways. Has anyone ever noticed how Chinese takeaways are yellow? This is Lucky Star in uh, E6. Uh, Happy House in SE18. Happy Chops, one of my favorite shop, front shop names ever. I mean, Happy Chops uh, in E3. Uh, Chi Chi Chinese in N19. And here's Tai Luck in E8. Um, next thing I want to show you quickly is laundrettes. I haven't changed since the 1950s. Amazing signage. Um, these kind of point to a time when they were uh, social hubs. Um, no one, I guess, has had the money since washing machines became ubiquitous, so they've stayed as they are. So this is Washateria in W8. Uh, laundrette, and I have to say, laundrette, laundrette, <coughs> spelt two different ways, impossible. Um, N4, laund laundomatic in N4 as well. Coinop, great one, SW2. Uh, and laundrette, has got any in it, in Uxbridge Road, W12. And Pound shops. Uh, all pound shops are not pound shops, they're pound plus shops. This is every item one pound plus. This is one pound uh, bargain, I love this as well, bargains galore in this walk around store. Come in and look around, everything's a pound, <laughs> except it's pound plus. Um, 99p plus or less, which are <laughs> I'd assume everything in the world is 99p plus or less. So, you know, you know. And I never know how to say this is minus plus pound shop and E8. Uh, and this amazing beauty in Stoke Newington, which is golden pound, any pound, any, any item, one pound plus. Um, I'm running out of time. Uh, okay, so that's a weird slide. 
I would go back because it shouldn't look like that. Imagine it looks like something else. Um, so uh, it's just a bit of a small window into my world. Uh, take a look around, see what you can see. Have a look at the everyday. Um, go to londonshopfronts.com and uh, spend a few hours looking at my pictures and I will carry on collecting them forever. <laughs>